Injection molds are designed and built to allow parts to be produced from various polymers and to be utilized for a variety of applications. A mold design team must possess the ability to evaluate and determine the optimal mold steel for each mold component to effectively produce high quality plastic parts. The first set of simulations use the part and runner assembly and core, cavity, and waterline layout on screen. The two line water circuit is on the fixed side of the mold. The movable mold half has a center insert to form the center ID of the part and a ring water circuit around the insert. The 420 stainless steel mold material data used for these simulations is shown on screen. This animation shows the tool temperature development over four molding cycles. As you learned in previous lessons, a mold undergoes a cyclic temperature swing during the molding process, and it is important to maintain uniform temperature behavior from cycle to cycle. The mold temperature set point is 85 degrees Celsius. The simulation shows the mold cut through the center, so you can see the polymer enter the cavity and watch how the heat is transferred from the polymer to the mold. At the end of the cooling phase, some areas inside the runner system are above the material freeze temperature of 220 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperature reached is 249.6 degrees Celsius. This animation shows the tool temperature development without the polymer material. Notice that the tool steel temperature rises to 141.8 degrees Celsius near the gate and that the highest temperature is at the top of the thin steel section. There is a temperature variation of about 56 degrees Celsius, which is a significant range that could cause cooling-related dimensional and surface appearance challenges. The next series of simulations will incorporate a high-hardened and high-conductive beryllium copper alloy for the entire movable mold base. The core steel is now S7. Let's look at the temperature behavior with this change. Here you can see the mold temperature cross sections for the examples at the end of the cooling time. The colors clearly indicate the difference in the mold temperature distribution. By changing the mold base material to beryllium copper, the temperature variation was minimized. The S7 center core shows the highest temperature near the top center and lowest temperature near the ring waterline. The mold thermal analysis indicates that the S7 core cannot remove heat from the center core to the water lines very quickly due to its lower thermal conductivity. This mold temperature evaluation indicates that using a beryllium copper mold steel will result in a more manageable mold temperature distribution. But the cost for this high thermally conductive steel is also much higher, so may not be a practical solution. Let's look at some other options. In this next example, the movable mold half core insert and waterline setup have been modified. The center core is now comprised of the entire movable half core. The ring water circuit is moved closer to the parting line and an additional baffle circuit is added to the center core section. The mold steel for this example is 420 stainless steel for all the components. Here you can see the outer core features have a higher temperature. The maximum temperature of 137.2 degrees Celsius is in the core feature on the gate side of the mold. Due to the center baffle circuit, the center core has an acceptable temperature distribution. Comparing this third example with the first, here you can see the temperature distribution for the two designs. As a reminder, the mold steel for all the components is 420 stainless steel. The hottest portion of the mold is near the gate in the thinner outer core section. Moving the ring water circuit closer to the outer core had a minimal impact on temperature, but the addition of the center baffle circuit reduced the core temperature to an acceptable and controllable level. The final example uses a high hardened and high conductive beryllium copper alloy for the center core and a 420 stainless steel mold base.
Here are the four design and mold steel temperature distribution results. When the ring water circuit was moved closer to the outer core section and the center baffle circuit was added, the results indicate the most uniform temperature distribution. But more importantly, by using a highly conductive beryllium copper alloy, the temperature inside the center core is more uniform. For minimizing mold tool steel cost, a combination of 420 stainless steel for the mold base and a high hardened beryllium copper alloy for the center core could be used. Injection molding is a process of heat exchange. Managing this process is critical to part quality and minimizing production costs. Performing mold thermal analyses on new tooling allows mold designers to evaluate potential design and process challenges prior to mold building and production. Depending on polymer materials, injection pressures, and production cycles, designers can determine what mold steels to use that will reduce production costs and improve molded part quality.